Hi everybody, it's Mark from Blue Poodle Studios. Happy holidays. Uh, we're continuing our series on talking a little bit about holidays, holiday products and merchandising and stores. And uh, today we're gonna talk about Hallmark cards. Hallmark is where I worked after I left the Disney store. And it was quite fascinating to me that of course they have, Disney and Hallmark have a long-standing relationship. Hallmark is one of the oldest licensees of the Walt Disney Company, uh, having done products back into the 20s and 30s. And so uh, we're gonna talk about Christmas, but I did wanna show a couple things. Uh, this is a, uh, a calendar of vintage uh, Hallmark greeting cards. And uh, I love all this stuff. I love the old uh, Mickey artwork in these. Um, and I don't own any of the actual cards. And this is a reproduction, but it's just fun to see these. It's almost like a book unto itself. But of course, we should definitely focus on the Christmas cards of Hallmark in the past. And uh, again, standard characters, uh, Mickey was the main uh, focus of the characters in those days, less so films, but we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. And uh, to give you another example of that, I also have a, a puzzle from, uh, I think it's 1999, uh, barring from the same kind of artwork, again, part of the um, Hallmark seasonal collection that they were doing at that time. Uh, but of course, uh, no holidays, uh, Christmas discussion would be at, at Hallmark would be um, something to cover off on unless you talk about their um, Hallmark ornaments. So the uh, keepsake ornaments are a big, big business for Hallmark cards and they go to work on the licensing or utilizing the characters there besides the Mickey and Friends standard characters. They would do everything from uh, older, much older films like a Pinocchio or um, uh, Lady and the Tramp, uh, all the way back to uh, Sleeping Beauty and uh, Dumbo, another film, and then and then on the more recent side of things, when I was there, uh, we were doing uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, also then the uh, Hercules uh, film from Disney. So lots of fun ornaments, and uh, we won't go into that in a lot of detail, but. Uh, in my job there, we were working, I was uh, leading the visual merchandising, and that's really about how products are displayed in stores. And so I've got some old catalogs from that time, and I'm gonna focus in on uh, 1998 is the period we're gonna be looking at. So these photos represent a preliminary merchandising test we did where we kind of set up a store in a mall uh, late at night to show what the new graphics were gonna look like. So this uh, shows the interior of the store, uh, excuse me, the exterior, when facing windows with the uh, theming in the window, this large kind of snowman graphic. Uh, when you come inside the store, there's kind of a feature display up front. This uh, bundled up snowman with the red scarf was kind of a feature or key product, and there's a display table there. Of course, uh, again, Winnie the Pooh was a, a Disney licensed character from Disney, and uh, they had a lot of good product around that, and there's another uh, example of that display, and here's a little bit wider shot of the same uh, area in the store. Then uh, these are catalogs from that same period. And so although it says Halloween here, I wanted to focus on the keepsake ornaments, which launch at the same time. And um, uh, it's quite a, quite a massive display. These are huge, probably 30, 40, 50 feet long runs of product on the wall. Uh, and we had a variety of different solutions depending on the particular um, store fixtures of a store, uh, but they're grouped by themes and categories. Uh, here's sort of the corrugate version. That was the hard fixture. We used a lot of cardboard in those days to get these displays put together, and uh, they're quite massive, and I'm sure many of you have been to the stores and seen them, uh, but that was part of it. And then when you look at, when we look at the uh, Christmas season itself, Again, lots of display, the greeting cards, the box Christmas cards were quite a big business. Gift wrap was quite a big business. So uh, lots of merchandising there uh, and fun stuff to see uh, how this is merchandised and displayed in stores, whether it be in a mass channel like a CVS Drugs or in a Hallmark Gold Crown store. So as you can tell, uh, most retailers go to a lot of trouble to really dress out their stores, get them fully merchandised with all the great product for holidays. So that's part of what makes out shopping and retail even more fun uh, during this time of year. One other quick side story, during the time I was there, uh, Mad Magazine, the kind of crazy uh, humor magazine, did a parody of the Hallmark uh, ornaments business called Cheapskate Ornaments. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in the magazine, so we're going to scan some photos of it and throw it up on our Instagram account in the next day or two, so be sure to check that out. It's kind of a little bit off-kilter off humor, but it's pretty funny as well. So with that, 
thanks for joining us today. Do get out and enjoy the holiday season. Get the full experience of the store, especially if you're fortunate enough to department stores with windows like a New York a Macy's store, Bloomingdale's, that kind of fun stuff. But all the same, it's great to be here for the holidays. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to follow us on our YouTube channel, Blue Poodle Studio, as well as check out uh, more details of our catalog and other, other products and things from the past that we're sharing on our Instagram and Facebook accounts, again, under Blue Poodle Studio. Thanks for joining us. Happy holidays, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.